I was having a little play around with a client website yesterday and I come across something on the contact form. Basically, I'd added in some code and one of the tabs was like higher than the other. So I was like, well, what's going on here? So I go into the form and I check. So I'm looking at the email address. I'm like, why is that lower than the name value? So I go in and then I notice there's a tick box. So I dive a little bit deeper and then I get to digging in and then I find oh, actually Squarespace has done a big update and they've made my life 10 times easier when pitching Squarespace forms and Squarespace email campaigns to clients. Okay, yes, it's mucked up my code, but I can fix the code. What's really interesting is what they've done. So basically what they've done is they've rolled out, it's, it sounds quite small, but in reality it is quite big. So basically they've rolled out a tick box or the option to add a tick box in contact forms meaning that when someone submits a query to your site, they can opt in to email marketing. Now this was never possible on Squarespace before, but I see it on tons of websites now with a tick box to say, do you wanna to subscribe to our email list? And this is a great way of getting more and more people onto your newsletter without having to direct them to a separate newsletter block, make them fill in all those details as well as filling in the contact form details. So. What I'm gonna do is show you how to set that up, what it looks like, and show you sort of where you can use it on the site. Okay, so first things first, what we wanna do is put in a contact form onto our site. So we go into pages, and then you can select whatever page you want to put the contact form on. I'm gonna go with the about page. Then let's go to edit, and then what we'll do is we'll plonk a contact form beneath here. So form, we drop that in. This seems a bit tight, so I'll probably put a spacer here and just drop that down. But you can see here, we have our form, and you can see already Squarespace has added the email tab, and in that tab, they've already set up sign up for news and updates. So I just double click in, and I go into edit form fields. What we'll see is email. So I'll bring that over here, and you can see email, we can have that required. Then we can have email sign up and confirmation email so basically what this email sign up does you can see when we take it away there's no tick box but basically what it does is it signs users up for your email marketing if they submit a contact form and why that's great is people who submit a contact form usually want to hear from you more often than not and so this stops them having to fill in the contact form and then remember to go and fill in a newsletter form which most people don't do. Someone isn't going to fill in the contact form and then go and think to do the newsletter form. They're just not going to do it. So this kills two birds with one stone. So what you want to do is click on email sign up. And then ideally what you want to do is send a confirmation email. So the confirmation email is just going to tell them, hey, listen, you signed up to my email newsletter, blah, 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 blah. So you can edit that here. But what we're going to do for now is save because that is for another video. But basically, that is all you need to do. And now, whenever someone fills in a contact form, they'll fill in this, blah, 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 and then they can toggle, sign up for news and updates. And this means you're gonna increase the amount of newsletter signups you get without even having to put the newsletter form on your website if you didn't want. This, yes, it's a small change, but it is of huge significance for Squarespace moving forward. If you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.